What's up guys, my name is Huzefa and I'm an education specialist and private math tutor. And just to give you a little background, I began my career as first a software engineer, then I was a patent attorney for about four years, and then I left three years ago to pursue a career in education because I love working with kids and moreover, I love teaching math more than anything. I love doing math, but teaching math is something that's been very special to me my entire life, even before I was full-time in education. I've always loved it and I've always felt that I had a knack for explaining problems, especially complex problems. Now that I work in education, in addition to working with kids, I've been developing an entire suite of online video curriculums for a host of standardized tests like the ACT. I also have another course for the SAT. I have one for the IC, which is the Independent School Entrance Exam, as well as a course on mastering multiplication. My next project is to create a full online GMAT course. and. I want to apply what I've already done for these previous courses where I've gotten a plethora of awesome reviews and feedback from all the people that have bought my courses so far. I want to take that, use the same formula and create a state of the art GMAT course. I've already tried my methods on the SAT. I went and registered for the new one in March and took it and was able to get a perfect on the math. So I want to do the exact same thing. What differentiates my courses from all the courses that exist out there today is that I use a model of frequency. So wh what that means is before I even create the course curriculum or create any of the material, I go out and I gather tons and tons of analytics based on existing test questions. That allows me to identify what categories appear most frequently on the test. And then I front load that information so people can basically design their study routine around what's most likely to be tested on. And the reason why I do this instead of following the standard model is because most people taking these tests have already learned this material at some point in their lives. They don't need to go in the standard progression that schools usually follow. So you can learn quadratic equations first if it's the most prevalent topic. And that's the idea. And I've been following this model for all, for all of my courses and I've gotten awesome, incredible reviews and I wanna do the same thing for the GMAT. So if you're able to help me out, I'm trying to raise $7,100 and what this money will go towards is the production cost. I wanna make this course bigger and better by far than anything I've created. And I've been bootstrapping everything myself up to this point. I do the filming, I do the editing, I do the creation, I'm on camera and I love all of that, but I would really love to get a professional video company, a professional editing company, and a professional studio space to make this next course. If you're able to contribute $25, that will either give you access to my GMAT course as soon as it's done in October, at the end of October is the target date, or if you don't want to take the GMAT course, you'll also get free access to one of my other existing courses, either on multiplication, on the ACT, on the SAT, or the IC. But if you're able to donate $100, there's a limited time uh, gift, a limited number of gifts for one free hour of Skype tutoring from me, and which I'd love to work with you on any topic up from basic second grade, first grade math all the way through calculus. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to check out this video and I hope you enjoy the GMAT course when it is complete.